try to Belgium. I've got 240k to do to get to the ferry in Dover. Uh, it is windy. There are some really mean looking clouds to the left over the uh, over the South Downs. But blue skies for me down here. Just rolling through Worthing in front of the sea. It's uh, the wind isn't quite direct crosswind. It's like a little bit of a tailwind, which is amazing. Vibes are immaculate. The legs are feeling good. Roads are dry. Sun is setting at the moment behind me. Uh, and then I've probably got about six hours in the dark to Dover. Oh my god, I'm not sure if you can hear me because it is obviously very windy. Uh, yeah, this is this is pretty crazy. I'm basically riding sideways through Brighton, um, but I think it's only until Eastbourne and then I get inland a little bit. So hopefully it's less extreme. I thought there'd be a nice chill ride, but I kind of switch off and just cruise before the cobbles tomorrow and Saturday. But I'm having to focus so much on just keeping the bike straight. I can't even take a hand off the handlebars most of the time. Uh, Fucking windy! Finally, away from the wind a little bit. I'm fairly certain this is Eastbourne, uh, I think. I hope so. The last... <coughs> the last uh, the last two hours or so have genuinely been like terrifying. Uh, no, uh, no Bene, not good. I've, I've never felt that vulnerable on the bike before. It was so windy and it was it was so gusty. It was like gusting from the left and the right and the front and the back. So like suddenly I'd be pushed along, I'd be doing 40k an hour on the flat and then two seconds later I'll be doing 10k an hour because you just get kind of blown to a halt which is really dangerous for the cars behind uh, obviously but we made it Soaked to the bone Soaked to the bone Good morning. This is the day we've been waiting for. We spent the last two days getting over to Ghent and now we are en route to the Mur and uh, another 170 kilometers of cobbles and bergs. It's a little bit damp than I was hoping, but 
I guess that's probably good for the race, so. Yeah, in, in true, true, true Flanders experience. fashion, it is pissing it down. So we're just rolling down this uh, very Belgian canal at the moment. The weather is not good. Five or six K before we get to the climbs and then maybe a little bit longer before we get to the Mur. I'm really excited to be honest. I think it's gonna be a good fun. The body feels very good to be honest after smashing it to pieces the last few days. The, uh, the gooch is a little bit sore, but as to be expected, the legs feel pretty good. Like what time is it all in? Birds, twelve o'clock. Regret. So far, so good. We're coming up on halfway to our little sightseeing route. About 85, 90 k's to go. Spirit, mood has changed. It's split 180 from this morning. This morning was uh, the weather was not very fun. About 2k away from the Kofferberg. Arguably, what, maybe the hardest climb of the day? Maybe? Yeah. Uh, super short, super steep. Some of the worst cobbles. Into it and just bang wall. Off you go. Four, it's hard to push pedals for like 45 seconds. This is it though, we've done the we've done the climbing sector of our Tour of Flanders ride. We've just got the finish into Udenard. We've got to think about we've got to think about setting up the lead out train. Exactly. Regathering as a group. There's only four of us in the move, so well, it's all about the finish now. Cat and mouse might start pretty early. Who knows? No more, no more climbs.
on the bike path now back into Ghent 5k to go what a roller coaster of a day that went from being admittedly miserable for the first few hours as soon as the climb started rolling oh, incredible so many people on the side of the roads uh, we had a little bit of drama trying to go up the Udaquamon there's a bit of a job's worth at the bottom saying that we couldn't come up because we weren't as part of the sportif that comes before the uh, the race so we just had to kind of find another way onto the climb through a little side road but made it up the Udaquamon up the up the Paterberg and then had a sprint finish rolling into Udenard uh, like with all the hoarding up yeah that was a pretty uh, pretty amazing experience right now i feel the best that i've felt for the last three days which is quite good the ultra form is good the fueling the fueling was on point got my packet of biscoff biscuits in my pocket yeah just pumped for tomorrow we're gonna go up to the uh try and watch it on the udaquamon <laughs> Yeah, they've just got to leave now. 